Hey everyone, welcome to the Daily D. And if you haven't subscribed, again, let's do it. Do it now, go down below. All right, so today's topic is the thief of opportunity. And we'll call it the biggest thief of opportunity. You see, if I could remember all the years <laughs> that I blamed someone else or something else for the reasons that I didn't have what I wanted or get what I wanted or, you know, get the opportunity that I wanted, you know, I used to blame a lot of things. You know, I used to blame you know, my family because they got in my way or I would blame my uh, conditions, right? The weather wasn't right or I don't have enough money or the biggest one is I didn't have enough time. Have you ever been there where you blame everything? And maybe you don't understand. Maybe you don't get it, right? Maybe you're thinking, you know, maybe that's not the one way you position it, if you will, in your mind. Because sometimes we don't see, you can't see the picture when you're inside the frame. But what I do know is that Every time I haven't gotten what I wanted, it's because not because of time, energy, money, family, none of that. It's really because I took too long to make a decision. I just took too long. You know, how many opportunities have we missed in life because we were in decision, right? We were in indecision where we didn't want to make a decision, right? I don't know. I'll think about it later. I'll do that later. I'll show up later. Maybe I'll go later. Maybe it'll happen later. Maybe I'll call later. Maybe it'll happen. You know, and we push it off and we push it off and we push it off. Now that's called procrastination, right? But the real truth here is indecision is a place where loss of opportunity lives. Indecision is a place where loss of opportunity lives. And what that means is every time that we put off something for a while, Anytime we say we'll do it later, anytime we say I'll make the calls later, I'll, I'll make money later, I'll save for retirement later, I'll eat healthy later, I'll go to the gym later. Every time we say that, what we're really saying is we're not fully committed and we don't know if it's the right thing to do. You know, anytime I've ever said that I'll do it later means I knew I should have done it then. And one of my coaches told me that one time, he said, one of the reasons that I get so far ahead of most people is because I'm willing to make a decision right there and then. When I have an idea, I do it. When I have to, when I think about a customer, I call them right then. When I think about anything, I just make a decision. I just do it. Now, it's not about being random or not having a plan or a methodical or some sort of structure in your life. It's more so that we know what we need to do 99% of the time. It's that 1% that we allow to control our minds. We allow it to control our decision-making abilities because we know what we need to do. So if you have been in a place of indecision, it is stealing, literally stealing opportunity from you each and every day, each and every day. Every time you say, I'll do it later, you're making a decision to put something off, which means procrastination will sit in, but more importantly, you've let indecision steal an opportunity. So how do we do that? What do we do, or how do we change that rather? And it's really simple. Whenever something comes to mind, just do it. Whenever you say, I'll do it later, don't say do it later, I'll just do it now. Make the phone call, show up to the gym, save for retirement, go to work, get up, get the job done, right? Oh, I'm going to snooze just for a few more minutes. Get it done. Just go and get it done. That's all you need to do. So I hope this helps you in thinking about one of the decisions that you need to make today, which is whatever it is, right? Not which is, whatever it is, get it done as fast as possible. Let's get you into this and uh, stop making excuses. Let's make decisions. Thanks, guys.